Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share what's new in my wardrobe for April. I've definitely been doing quite a bit of shopping lately. We have two weddings coming up and we're heading to the beach. So I've had quite a bit of fun shopping for some fun events. I'm excited to like have some things on my social calendar to look forward to. So if you are interested in shopping any of these pieces, I will have everything linked below as well as my sizing recommendations and all of that fun stuff. So let's jump right in. All right, so first I picked up this one piece swimsuit. I love the color. I have definitely been drawn to this color lately and I love this one shoulder bow detail. I've purchased a few different swimsuits and I've returned to quite a bit because a lot of them lately I feel like I've had really short torsos. So this one was very, very figure flattering. If you're postpartum looking for a swimsuit, I think this one is really nice. It has like a good thick material. So everything feels nice and secure and they have a bunch of colors in this. I actually bought Josie a little swimsuit that will complement this. Um, I was sad because I bought matching swimsuits and it was too short on my torso. So at least we'll coordinate for the beach trip. Next, I thought this floral dress was really pretty. It has like a little soft pleating through here. It comes in at the waist nicely and it's just nice and flowy. I figured this would be great for Dallas. I was actually surprised looking at the weather how warm it's gonna be in Dallas when we head there this weekend. It's actually gonna be warmer than at the beach. So definitely need some pieces to keep me cool. I picked up a medium in this dress. Express had such cute pieces. I feel like as soon as I post a try on haul, I check out their new arrivals and they always have something calling my name. So I did pick up a couple new things from Express since my last try on haul. I'll actually have another try on haul coming up soon. Um, but first is this adorable kind of peachy blush dress with the tie here. Um, I am interested to see how this goes since I am breastfeeding, but it does have coverage right here for a regular bra and then I figured I could just tie this bow around my bra as well so um, stay tuned for an express haul I think it will go up on the 21st if you want to see how this looks but I think this will be so cute for the beach it has these little eyelet details and of course I love the color also from express I shared these in a previous try on haul I'll link it here if you want to see how they look on but I think these are such a fun pop of color and they are so comfortable the heel height is really easy to walk in this is nice and padded and I just loved the pop of color and I picked up like the shorts in this color so I really liked how Everything just looks so cohesive with these shoes. They have a few different colors in these. If you're in between sizes, I do recommend to go up a half size. I can be an eight and a half or a nine in shoes and I picked up a nine in these. I am so excited about this dress. It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try it on. So the front here ties into a bow. And again, I figured I could tie this around my bra to give it some good security, but I really love the material of this. It's soft, um, it's a lightweight kind of cotton fabric almost looks linen but it's definitely not and I feel like this is definitely going to be a piece that I take to the beach with me. I love to wear white dresses. I feel like they just really pop and you can have fun with your accessories or like add a pop of color with your earrings so that will definitely be a piece that I hope to take to the beach with us. All right next is this trench coat. I shared this in my recent Amazon haul and I'm just so excited about it. I had to share it in this video as well. It's so lightweight and comfortable. I have found that a lot of trenches that I've tried are very stiff and they just look stiff on but this one just flows and it's lightweight and super soft and comfortable. I would recommend a size down. It's very oversized and even sizing down it still gives you that perfect oversized look which is very on trend right now. Another dress from Amazon that I shared in that try on haul is this kind of light pink floral dress. They are calling this floral but it's kind of like an in-between to a leopard print to me but I can see it is more of a floral print. Um, but this is so flattering, very flowy, and I love that it has the button closure here. Just a really easy dress if you need something affordable for a shower or something like that. I think this is perfect. I have a few things from Abercrombie, but I am gonna save some for an upcoming try-on haul. I think I'm gonna do a combo like Nordstrom Abercrombie haul. Um, in the next week so stay tuned for that but I wanted to try out the tennis dresses essentially it's like an athletic dress with shorts and I got one from Aerie and then I wanted to try the ones at Abercrombie and I also have seen an Amazon dupe as well so I will link that one down below if you're interested in the dupe 
um, but I got this blue color again like I said I've been very drawn to this color and then I also tried the tan so I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up keeping um, and then the airy one that I picked up has like a pleated skirt so that's really fun it adds a little bit more of a girly element to it but these would just be great like I figured I could use this at the beach like for riding bikes or something like that and this one does have a hook so you can make it like cross in the back if you want um, the only downside to this for me is there is no like built-in bra or padding so I would have to add that like add little pads in externally um, so that's the one thing I do want to mention with that but something that will be very practical and then I also picked up this white sweatshirt. I feel like for the evenings at the beach when it's breezy and a little chilly, this will be perfect for that. And I got it in white because again, it just feels a little more spring appropriate or for something to wear at the beach. It just is a little less winter to me, I guess. But it has a really like wide V-neck with the collar and it's a little bit shorter. So it will be perfect to tuck in to even like denim shorts or like the white linen pants. Um, and I figured that would be a really great kind of layering piece. You could even throw it over the tennis dress as well if you get chilly. I have been so impressed with brands that I have found at Dillard's. I started shopping there at the beginning of the year um, when a fellow blogger from Atlanta released like a collection there. And I love shopping there for Josie for like special things like dresses or things like that. So I have been going there a lot recently trying to find her like swimsuits and random things and I've also been shopping there for wedding guest dresses which I will have a video on all the wedding guest dresses that I've tried so if you are shopping for wedding guest dresses stay tuned because I'll have two good resources for y'all coming up um, but while I've been in there I've just been browsing and finding the cutest stuff so I shared a couple things in my March what's new to my wardrobe and since then I found this white and pink floral dress and this is so flattering on. I normally can't do waist like this where it has the smocking because typically my waist is so short I have to wear it really high up and then the skirt gets way too short but this one is perfect um, and it's very flattering. It is like a linen blend and I just Think this is beautiful so I will round up a couple of really pretty Dillard's dresses that I've seen lately and I'll also share one of the wedding guest dresses that I think I'm gonna wear to um, a wedding we have coming up I forgot to mention this top earlier when I was sharing the express things but how beautiful is this top I love the detailing and the sleeves and it is a little bit shorter but this is gonna look so pretty with like white linen pants is how I picture this or even like white shorts, like my white Zimmerman shorts. I just think this is so beautiful, cannot wait to wear it. Um, I picked up two sizes in this. I think the small will probably be what I end up keeping, um, but I haven't tried them on yet because I'm saving that for the Express try-on haul, but they have such beautiful pieces right now in this color. We will see how this turns out. I feel like this was definitely something I'm not sure if it's gonna work out for me or not, but. I, when I picked up the swimsuit, I also picked up this top because again, I thought it would be so pretty with the white linen pants. Um, that's definitely like my beach wardrobe that I'm planning in my head. So we'll see how this, like how long it ends up being. Cause I, I don't know. I don't want it to be too revealing. It looks like it's going to be pretty low. So I don't know. I don't have high hopes for this, but if I end up trying it on, I'll put a clip over here so you can see how it looks or I'll update you guys in the description. And then at Aerie, I saw this white dress and I think this is by far the best Love Shack Fancy white dress dupe that I have seen anywhere. I purchased another one at Target that's similar, has like the ruffles and things, but I honestly am not the biggest fan of the fabric. It's very stiff and kind of loud, especially compared to this one because this is so soft. Not gonna lie, it is very short, so if you're petite, that is great, but if you're taller, I don't know if this is gonna work for you. Um, I feel like I could wear it as like a swim cover-up. It does have that smocking at the waist, so again, I have to wear it pretty high up, and it does come up on the side where it's pretty short. So if it was a windy day, I would not recommend to wear this, but it's so beautiful and if you love love shack fancy and you want the look for less i don't think you can go wrong with this dress on a similar note i have also seen this skirt at airy and when i first saw it i was like that's so cute but i don't know if it will look right on me i don't know i know i hate to like 
feel like you had to dress your age, but I felt like this was a little youthful. However, I saw a friend on Instagram wear this as a swim cover up and I was like sold. I think it's so perfect for that. Um, very comfortable. Like I said, it is a squirt. Um, it is on the shorter side, but just wearing this with like a one piece swimsuit is going to be too cute at the beach. Um, and it will also be great too, to like ride bikes in. Um, we're heading to 30A. If y'all have any recommendations for me, it will be pretty much my first time and my husband's first time going to that side of Florida. So I'm really excited to go. Um, so let me know if you have any recommendations, but I think we're just going to primarily get around on bikes. So I'm trying to dress appropriately for that. And then recently I did share a loft haul, which was long overdue. And probably my favorite item from that haul are these white scallop shorts. I just know how versatile these are going to be in my upcoming wardrobe. They're very comfortable and probably will be something that I pack along to the beach with me. If you missed my loft haul from last week, I will link it here if you want to check it out. I'll also round up some of my recent videos and posts down below too, so you can just easily click to watch those. I shared these shoes over on Instagram and they have been a bestseller this past week. Um, I found the best look for last to my Jimmy Choo heels and I have to say these are actually way more comfortable. Um, just the material is much softer. They're they just feel a little less stiff and they're also easier to walk in but from the front um i maybe i'll add it in here but from the front it was hard to even tell a difference between what is what so if you have been eyeing those jimmy choo shoes and you want the look for less this is definitely a great option and they do come in black and white so i think they would be a great bridal shoe as well um, review said that they ran small because I can be an eight and a half or a nine. I saw reviews said that they ran small and recommended to size up. So I ordered a nine and a half in these just to be safe and they're way too big. So I would say if you are in between sizes like I am, just go up a half size from there. I also shared these in my recent Amazon haul and these are pretty much an identical dupe to the Steve Madden slide on shoes. But I have to say, these are actually a teeny bit more comfortable. They do have a little bit more padding in them, and they had a lot more colors as well. So this is actually a blush color, which is very much like my neutral, um, but they're really comfortable if you need a good work shoe. I always slide up a half size in mules, so I got a nine in these. I have been styling these in a ton of my recent videos, and I'm just so excited about them. They're so pretty. They're a jelly shoe, so I actually bought them for the beach and pool, but they're so pretty on that I will definitely be wearing these just out and about too. Um, I love the pearl detail. It's a really pretty color. They're very comfortable and I got a nine in these. Another thing that's new to my wardrobe is actually the dress that I'm wearing today. It's from Petal and Pep and I will have a new Petal and Pep haul coming up really soon at the end of the month. So many cute pieces. Um, I will definitely be taking some of those to the beach with me as well. So if you want a sneak peek, definitely give me a follow over on Instagram. My handle is strawberrychicxo. Um, and I'll probably be sharing like what I'm packing and wearing and all of that over there. And also to my newsletter subscribers too. So I do have a code right now for 20% off. You can use code strawberry chic if you're wanting to shop anything at Petal and Pup. That is everything that I've added to my wardrobe in April. I want to hear anything that you've picked up recently. So let me know down in the comments what's new to your wardrobe. And I will see you later this week with a new video. Bye.